so hello guys uh, before going have with uh, software development life cycle so here i am going to introduce a very interesting thing that is what are the difference between manual and automation testing or else if i straight away if i can ask you a question like what is manual testing you people say that the testing which is done by manually if i say automation that is used by some tool yes properly that is what actually the thing is but still you need to know what will be automated i'm like what human activities will be automated as simple as that we know that in a manual testing it is done by human in the automation testing the same thing will be converted as automation but what human activities will be automated this is what actually we need to know the three human activities will be automated so before heading up with the topic let's go ahead and let's decide what exactly the manual testing and what is automation testing because these are the two things what we are going to learn in our coming classes so obviously you need to know the difference between them so let's me show you that so let me take one uh, example here mm, let me open a pad for you okay in manual testing we have something called test case document So if you are listening this word for the first time, no need to worry. We'll be writing a lot of test cases in our coming classes. If you are already familiar with the test cases, just have a look on the video. That's it. Now, so test cases, what exactly the test cases? It's nothing but a simple document, a document, a document with expected result of an application. With expected result of your application. So, what is the expected result? It's nothing but the user actions expected behavior or else in a simpler way I can say that when we can expect something from the system whenever there is a user action means if you click on OK button we can expect something right if you click on sign in button we can expect something if you are going to click on some cancel we can expect we, if you are going to write something on the screen we can expect something means if there is a user action then we can expect something from the system as simple as if there is a user action then we can expect something from the system so a test case is nothing but a document with user action and its subsequent response that is nothing but expected result a test case document is a document with a user action what we are going to do and what we are expecting it to behave we don't know whether it is going to behave the same thing or not but we are expecting it these two things actually should be drafted from the user requirement documents from the client given requirement documents that will be discussing it but as if now a test case document is a document which has a action and its subsequent response okay and even it has few fields in it like user action expected actual and the status here now what is a user action so we'll take a simple example here we're going to take an example of gmail gmail login simple gmail login so I have a valid username and password i'm going to check whether it is taking me to the inbox or not moving to the inbox is what actually i am expecting it should take me to the inbox that's it that is what i am expecting okay if that is the case then what is the user action writing the username writing the password and clicking on sign in this is the user action whenever we perform this task what happens it will take you to the inbox this is what we are expecting so we'll write the test cases after writing the test cases when the application is ready you are going to open a gmail.com in that as a manual tester keep this in mind as a manual tester you are going to write the username you are going to write the password you are going to click on sign in these three activities you are going to do it manually not only performing the user options first you will be performing the user actions means you will be writing the username you will be writing the password you will be clicking on sign in and 
you will be watching the actual behavior like whether it is moving to the inbox or outbox whether it is saying as a test page not found so what it is responding so you are going to watch the actual behavior and after watching the actual behavior of an application we are going to provide the status to it like whether it is passed or failed what is the thing to it if you take on this example so you are going to write the username password and you are going to click on sign in and you are going to watch the actual behavior let's assume that it has taken you to the inbox inbox now the thing what you have expected and the actual how the system has behaved both are identical so obviously it is a pass so you have the right to say it as a pass because you have witnessed it you are the one who has witnessed it while moving on to the inbox so ultimately you have a right to give the status to it so that's the reason you have said it as a pass so what we have done in the manual testing you have was actual behavior you have performed the user action first you have observed the actual behavior and you have provided the status to it these three activities we will be doing in the manual testing in the automation testing these three activities will be carried out so whatever the tool it may be i am generalizing it it may be qtp it may be selenium it may be selk it may be rational robo whatever the tool it may be no tool in the world will understand the human language we need to write the code and moreover the tool doesn't know what is inbox the tool doesn't know what is sign in it doesn't know what is password where should write when should write it doesn't know anything so what we need to do first we need to give all the information to the tool like what is a username what is a password where should it click when should it click after clicking what should it should do so all the information should you need to provide it to the tool simple okay so provide all the information to the tool and just click on run we have given the information to it and you have clicked on run we have clicked on run now the tool is going to write the username it is going to write the password it is going to watch the actual behavior directly it is going to throw the message saying that it's pass or fail means the actual user action you have not done it tool has done it watching the behavior you have not tool has done it and providing the status to it even that has been done by the tool so directly it said it's passed or failed so here human intervention has been came down i mean the human interaction has been really reduced so what is the use of it the same thing you can do it using manually so why to go with automation tool why to give that much licenses and use the automation tool why to waste the resources even same thing can be done using manual right yes we can do it but if you do it automation it's very fast and there is a concept of reusability and repeatability that we'll be discussing while starting the manual testing concepts but as if now the major difference is in the manual testing you need to do everything in the automation testing the thing what you have done that will be automated as simple as that clear yes now this is what the difference between manual and automation testing now let's go ahead with few other important